News 8 Storm Team Forecast. Started off the morning with some sunshine, but now we're starting to see those clouds getting a little bit thicker as we look live from our Harrisburg SkyCam. Yes, there is some sunshine reaching the ground at this point, but there are some high clouds starting to filter that sunshine out. Looking at the Susquehanna River here, still some ice on the river. It's been a, last month was quite cold. We're still seeing that thaw taking place on some of the larger tributaries here across the Susquehanna Valley. And are currently in Harrisburg, we're sitting at 43 degrees. Feels a little cooler than that when you factor in that east southeasterly wind, eight miles per hour. The humidity is starting to come up too as we wait for that rain to push into the region. Our other numbers right now: 41 in Lebanon, 40. 40 degrees here in the Lancaster area. Then you go down to the southwest, mid 40s, Chambersburg and Gettysburg both. But we're starting to see those clouds again working in from the west, and there is a lot of moisture to go with this system. And the rain arrival time probably in the ballpark of 9, 10 o'clock in our western counties, closer to midnight in our eastern counties. So until then, the clouds will increase here in the News 8 Storm Team forecast. Carlisle in the background. Our temperatures pretty close to average by the time we hit those afternoon highs near 50 degrees. And that rain will be arriving later on this evening. And it could be heavy at times as we go through the overnight hours tonight. And that's when we'll start to watch those smaller creeks and streams, as we saw a couple days ago. They started to rise up with not a whole lot of rain. But this time we're going to be talking about over, potentially over an inch of rain in some spots. And that rain will be steady as we go into tomorrow morning. I think around midday it starts to taper off, maybe around noon, 1 o'clock. Tapers off a little bit to more showery type weather and some drizzle lingering, but not the steady rain that we will see during the morning hours. And hey, our temperatures will also spike into the middle 50s. But again, we are watching those creeks and streams. And on the left side here, you go to the Conestoga River, the Swatera Creek, the Cana de Gwinnett, and of course, uh, you're heading down to some of the other smaller tributaries across the valley. Right now, we're doing okay. In fact, they're on the drop. They will be dropping here over the next few hours into tonight, but they will be back on the rise once the rain begins. And for now, all of the forecast crests are to be below action stage. It's a different story as you go to the main stem Susquehanna, where we actually have two gauges, both Williamsport and the Harrisburg. Gauge along the main stem that had forecast to go above action stage. Currently, we're at eight feet there in Harrisburg, about five feet in Williamsport. But you see where those forecasts are going above that action stage level, and we'll, go, we'll start to see those uh, cresting probably as we go into the later parts of Monday afternoon. So we'll keep our eyes on it very closely here. There is a lot of moisture to go with this system. You can see that surge of moisture coming off of the Gulf of Mexico, and it's headed our way. It's rounding the base of high pressure, and it will continue that way. The National Weather Service has issued flood watches mainly. For western parts of the state, but I would not be surprised to see them issued a little farther to the east through Saturday evening as we continue to watch uh, maybe some ponding on the roadways. But more likely, some of those smaller creeks and streams will be getting closer to that action stage, if not closer to the minor flood levels. So we'll be watching that rain moving in here. Our temperatures today will be around 50 degrees for the highs and then cooling down into the low 40s. So overall, pretty mild once the rain moves in through the overnight, too, stopping the clock here 6 a.m. And you see that rain pretty much the entire valley going to be. Seeing it with some pockets of yellow. Those are pockets of heavy rain. Now, watch what happens as we go to midday. We start to see that rain peeling back, still keep the clouds around, and also some drizzle and maybe a shower or two through the afternoon. And then into the evening hours, things start to clear out just a little bit for us as those temperatures drop down into the 30s. And then we wait for the upper level energy from the system to swing through going into Sunday afternoon. So that could trigger a shower or two, but for the most part, we will begin to start to uh, dry out here. But not before about an inch of rain could fall in some areas. Here across the valley. I think around uh, Turnpike to the south, these are the areas more likely to see an over an inch of rain. Farther north than that, especially in the northern part of the state, maybe closer to about three quarters of an inch. Regardless, we're going to be uh, watching a lot of that water to go right into some of those smaller creeks and streams and then eventually into the bigger tributaries. So we'll watch that as we go through the weekend. And then going into the rest of the week, looks like we do start to dry out here into St. Patrick's Day. There is a chance of a shower on St. Patrick's Day itself, but overall going to be uh, rather close to average through the rest of the week. So we'll continue to watch this rain. A bit of a rainy Saturday for us. Sunday looking okay. All right. Well, that's good. A little mm -hmm. mix there. All right. That's thanks. Right.